Here's East Saias again. It is a Category 1 hurricane closing in on the south of North Carolina coast. The wind's at 75 miles an hour right now. Minimal hurricane. That's four hurricanes in five years to impact the state. Typically, even North Carolina doesn't get hit that much. We all would like a break, but uh, not in the cards for us, and we're still early in the season. Here we are at 9 o'clock. Look at the winds. This is just in from the National Hurricane Center. A new update. The winds are up to 85 miles per hour. So. Sorry, water is coming in. What a disaster. I'm just joshing you. Now the hurricane came through last night between you know, 1 and 5 a.m. And really, I, I mean, we didn't even notice it. We were all asleep before it ever really picked up any wind here. But today it's absolutely beautiful. There, it's a, there's a nice breeze. It's sunny. Um, it's a lot cooler than it has been. But man, our time's changing. I mean, we've had five hurricanes, four hurricanes in five years. And I was thinking the other day, you know, if we didn't have radios or communication devices, if we didn't have all of the, the technology that we have right now, because just because we have it now doesn't mean that it's guaranteed in the future, how would you be able to tell that a storm coming your way is a hurricane? You know, and how much time would you have lead time to be able to prepare for that? And from what I can tell, living in an area where we have had a lot of hurricanes, um, the first few bands that come through from a hurricane don't seem all that different than just any other rainstorm. But as the day progresses, you'll notice a couple characteristics to tell you a hurricane's coming. Number one, it'll be overcast almost all day long. Uh, you'll, you won't have much of a break in the clouds at all. And as the day progresses, you'll start to notice that the storm clouds um, are more of big, long bands. And, and as the storm gets closer and closer, obviously those bands 
start to tighten. So you can watch the sky and kind of see this happen early on. Once you get into the thick of it, it's all just clouds and rain. So you can't really tell at that point, but you can tell early on when a hurricane is approaching you. And it would probably give you, I mean, depending on the size of the storm, and how fast the storm is moving. Of course, these things usually move somewhere. They, they can move very slowly, six miles an hour. Sometimes they move up to 18 miles an hour. The storm that came through last night, I believe, was moving at about 18 miles an hour by the time it crossed through here. But they, they don't move that quickly. So I would guess you'd have at least six to eight hours from the time you notice and can and actually see the bands to get everything you know locked down and be prepared for that storm. So that's a little uh, insight on hurricanes as they approach and how to identify them if you don't have some sort of weather app or service telling you what to look for. If, if for some reason we get knocked back to the, you know, the times of pre-electronics, that's how you're gonna know a storm is coming. You can actually see the bands as they form and that, and that storm system starts to move in. Um, you know, I, the other thing that happens usually before storms, it, it tends to get pretty hot and humid. Uh, of course, you couldn't tell the difference between that and any other storm. So uh, the big difference are the bands as they come in. You could actually see those, make some pretty wicked cloud formations as, as those things come in here. But you typically with thunderstorms, you know, you'll have patches of clouds. Sometimes you'll have one big band, but you won't have just band after band and then, it, you know, it continue on like that for hours on end. Anyway, I gotta get back to building. I have uh, the rafters kind of coming out of the front of the porch. Now I need to build the sides coming down. Once I get those on, I could go ahead and start in installing my uh, my roof boards, which I am using uh, kind of a half inch OSB board. And then I'm putting a roofing material over top of those. And then eventually we'll come in and we'll add metal to the roof. So I'm gonna call it quits for the day, but I did get one of my main boards on the porch roof up. Um, it's just screwed on with four screws right now. I'm trying to figure out my corners. So this is what I've been working on up here. I've got an angled board that comes out and then kind of a side roof coming off here. The problem is that it's gonna be real close to this top roof. So what I've decided to do I'll eventually cut that out or do something different with it, but there we go. What I've decided to do is continue this roof across probably to about here, because this is where I'm gonna start trimming in this part and bring it out to the end of this. And then that way it will come straight across to, well, so it will kind of come down at an angle from there and then cut across it so you'll have kind of a straight edge here. And then I'll have to put in a diagonal piece of trim to follow 
the, the split between this roof here and this new roof down here. <clears throat> so it's gonna be fairly interesting. It's gonna require some flashing to make it work, but with this angle, the water's still gonna run off. And then it's, you know, as it runs off and it trickles down the side here, it's gonna wanna run against this trim. So it's gotta be uh, flashing. I may uh, just get some metal flashing and bend it and, and trim that to put over some wood right through here. But that's kind of what I've been working on. My next step of this is to try and get my, um, this section of roof, this roofing board on so that I can start working out this trim before I cover this up. I wanna be able to get this um, somewhat figured out so that it makes it easier to do later. And I'm just gonna have to work it out with trim and flashing to make it look decent. So it's gonna, it's gonna be a little unconventional, but I think I can make those corners work. Right now it's so hot, I don't wanna deal with the angles that I'm gonna have to do. And I wanna go ahead and get those corners done because really after I do those corners, the rest of this is, is pretty easy. Uh, the other thing I've been trying to figure out today is how to trim in the rest of the building. I have a pretty good plan for that. So I'm not too concerned with that. I'm more concerned about getting these roof angles done and then I can start figuring out how to trim that in and, and make it look decent uh, as I do the rest of this. But it hasn't been easy, I can tell you that, trying to get those corners in there.